On Friday, the state of Minnesota officially joined much of the world in recognizing January 27th as International Holocaust Remembrance Day, a tribute to the six million Jews killed. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan both spoke at a special event with survivors at Plymouth Congregational Church. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan shows us the renewed efforts to strengthen Holocaust education and fight anti-Semitism. This is an exhibit at the Plymouth Congregational Church called The Transfer of Memory. All the stories, these are portraits here of Holocaust survivors. Their lives, their surviving, just by itself, a victory over the Nazis and their collaborators. But they can't defeat time. Manny Gabler was born in Milan in 1938. No, he's not Italian. His parents were German, but they were on their way to Shanghai, China. They were among a select group of Jews given visas to flee persecution there. They lived in what became known as the Shanghai Ghetto until 1948. You know, I don't have ugly memories of having lived in China. I mean, we were starving. I wore the same clothes every day, but that wasn't really important when you're just trying to survive. Now 84, Gabler himself is a symbol, but sadly he's also a relic among the last living witnesses in Minnesota, and he's showing no signs of slowing down. The young people of today are the storytellers of the future, and so when I speak at the, a university or Rotary Club or whatever, um, you know, those are the people that will spread the story. Surveys show they need more than a refresher, too. A national poll finding two-thirds of millennials unaware of Auschwitz, the most notorious of Nazi death camps. A majority also not knowing Hitler was democratically elected. In Minnesota last year, 60% of millennials and Gen Zers reporting they saw Nazi symbols online. And almost half, they say they see posts on social media distorting or denying the Holocaust. Governor Tim Walz on Friday signaling he wants state government to get involved. And this fight against anti-Semitism, this fight about protecting not just the memories, but the future, is going to have to be very aggressive. Manny Gabler is all in too, and he's promising he's not going anywhere. Um, I'm going to live forever. So far, so good. And so um, I'll keep doing it as long as I can. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News. Holocaust Remembrance Day is observed on January 27th because that was the day the Allies liberated Auschwitz in 1945.